Hi, hi, hello and welcome to the 19th, 18th, I'm not sure, episode. Um, we are about to go into the um, third part of the canyon. Uh, also, there's a bath toad. So, Green, uh, I cannot fight with Reno, which is um, sad, of course, because he's the most powerful of all of them. So, hey. How is the injury? Uh, if it is still hurts, we can slow down a bit. Ha, ah, it's not a big deal, honest. I'm. It stopped bleeding and it doesn't even hurt that much anymore. Emma's first aid skills really are a top notch. Oh, not at all. Well, if you am um, sure, if you am um, truly. Uh, not kidding about it. Okay, then let's continue. I hope tomorrow I can auto fight again with him. I need his uh, active defense, whatever uh, skills in, in all the way. So, um, uh, one monster. Hope we can just run around it. I know, I'm not so, I'm, uh, I'm hot for fighting right now. Only when we have to. Oh, let's get this over with. This will help us. Is this uh, it? I believe so. It's a rather pretty shade of pink, isn't it? Blick. What are you? A little threat, sweet for salt. Are you sure you should do, be doing this? She's clearly fine. So they, um, I'm going to use this in the bath. I guess I shouldn't be surprised nobles would do this kind of thing. Well, let's just take what we need and go. If there's anything else beyond this, I, I, I hope I can take it this later because I don't want to fight um, uh, without um, Reen. It uh, it won't be a satisfying thing to fight without Reen. That one looks annoying. Watch out. Yep, uh, I I run away. I need I need Reen in in this kind of battles, or this will be very awful. Maybe I should also um, get the others um, to be um, kind of strong. So in such situations, I'm not completely lost, like right now. Whoa! It's huge. This is Orak's fort. One of the Kreutzen Provincial Army's premier bases. So it's so it's so it seems. Not how I was expecting it to look. They modified an older fort. A lot. Is something wrong, Yusis? No, not at all. Let's go and give our report on the monster we defeated. Hmm? Something is odd.
Ich hab wieder ein Little Fight. Er wurde belost. Isn't that it, it's a freight train from Borea Hard? Looks like it's carrying tanks. Pretty heavily armored ones at that. Those are the latest models from the Reinford Company. They're called Oxen. Uh, how? Come on. We have things to do. Gosh, why does he have to be so... Ugh. He's right, though. We really should keep moving. Yeah. Who goes there? Wait, aren't those uniforms? We're members of Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. We completed a monster extermination task on your behalf and have come to give our report. Oh, so you're the ones. We've been expecting you. You'll forgive my curtness. We just didn't think you'd have someone so young with you as well. <laughs> um, so we were able to defeat the monster in question. Do you require a written report or is verbal confirmation okay? Oh, no, that's fine. You were really able to beat that thing, though? Somehow or another, yes. It wasn't easy, but we managed. Huh, not bad. Not bad at all. We probably should have taken care of it ourselves, but it was a pretty dexterous thing, so we just kind of let it be. It wasn't tough enough to cause any of us any harm, as long as we were in our armored cars when we encountered it. But still, it took a bit of convincing for us to ask a group of students to fight it, as you might imagine. I can understand that. Well, it provided a good opportunity for us to test our skills. Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh, Lord Eusis, what brings you? Ah, th that uniform. Are you? Correct. I've returned to Bereahard as part of a field study for the Academy. I'm here as a student, not as a member of the Alberea household. Please treat me accordingly, the same as you would my classmates. Uh, as you wish. As you wish, Lord Eusis. Wow. <laughs> Looks like even the provincial army will miss a chance to bend over backwards for him. I would like to know, however, about the contents of that train that just passed by here. Ah, you saw it? Our provincial army has finally started getting supplied with tanks. Isn't it exciting? Armored cars can't hope to compete with tanks in terms of firepower, after all. Why does uh, the local kind of police, I mean, it is they act like police in the in the circumstances, um, guaranteeing security and so, why do they need um, tanks? I don't know, anyway. And we can't let the Imperial Army be stronger than us forever. I see. The fort also appears to have been fortified quite significantly. Ah, yes. Some rather sizable construction work was carried out just last month. It'll take more than a little cannon fire to damage these walls now. Our anti-air defenses are going to be strengthened in the near future, too. This should soon become a fort we soldiers of the Kreutzen province can truly be proud of. You can count on that. I will. And with that, I believe we are done here. We should take our leave. Okay. It is almost evening, after all. Roger that. Spark arrow, okay. And I want to go back. It's dangerous. I have to go back. Uh, Wait. What is the meaning of this? Machias? <sighs> if we were on the border with Crossbell or the Republic, maybe I could understand. But why does the provincial army here need state of the art tanks? Not to mention anti-air defenses and countless other fortifications. It's utter madness! Machias. He makes a good point. Can you truly be so ignorant? This is the reality of the present situation within the Empire. Tensions between Osborne's reformist faction and our noble faction grow worse by the day. Though admittedly it's been happening mostly under the surface, away from the eyes of the general populace. But this is just one of the many ways that conflict is manifesting itself. I'd heard rumors, but... 
No doubt my father was the one who ordered these fortifications. I have no intention of giving any comments of my own on his decision. But if you wish to lodge a complaint, I'm quite happy to listen. No, it's fine. The sun's going down. We should get back to Bereahard. Yeah. Let's go then. No, I don't want to go. It will be a pain in the ass to really go back to Horray. And the, uh, I have to run away from all the monsters so hard. As soon as I have been back, we can battle all of the monsters. A yeah. dangerous foe. Stay on guard. Especially this one. I don't want to fight against this. The uh, last time they were super strong, I definitely need to be in this. Oh, I thought so, <laughs> this lab thing was in reality. <laughs> now it's just a game. It's alright. <laughs> ah. Hello. I know her from later. I know her very, very, very much, very good. I know her very well. But that's something else. You will not catch up with it. Not at this speed. You could have also taken us with you. Oh yeah, Th then everything is fine again. Not now. But that's everything I wanted. So I can fight again now. In normal way. Not that I want to fight so much. Because it takes so much time. Always, and it's not so interesting for you guys. But. Let's get back to the city. Um, okay. I will explore the, this one part of the dungeon. And the third map. Um, later. We're finally back. Feet are 
killing me? Okay, a moment. Yeah. Everything is fine. There's something um, going on there, but at first I need to go to to the central place to give this thing to the boss salt to this guys here. Oh Lord Jesus, might I assume that you have? That's correct. Here. Let me see what I what I just got. Was uh, not it an uh, hourglass? Uh, okay, it's alright. That's it's not anything too good, but it's alright. I I will have to go to the hotel. We have a quite it's a quite successful day today. Also a great recording so far. Yeah, return to the hotel. We have done all the quests. I am terribly sorry for not coming to greet you, Father. Although I am here, but for a short time, I Jesus have returned to. Enough. Hmm? Duke Alvarea. As I informed Rufus, you may do as you wish while you are here. However, you will do nothing that brings shame upon myself or upon the Alvarea name. Please do, please be ever mindful of your position and what your represents. Yes, Father. Would it be too much to ask for you to introduce yourself to my... I have no time for pleasantries. Should I require anything of you, you will be contacted. He is not as um, charming as, um, as Rufus. Rufus is the real... Um, I think Rufus is a real um, powerful guy here, not um, uh, Duke Abraham. In my opinion. Yeah, sounds good. Let's eat something, let's enjoy the evening. Um, at this point, Reen and the others returned to the rooms um, for a much needed shower. Then, after a short rest, they headed to the restaurant in the central plaza for dinner. Ah, 
breeze here feels wonderful. <laughs> the food was delicious, too. Agreed. I can see why this restaurant is popular with the nobles. Do you dine here often, Yusis? I do. The chef has been good to me since I was a child. I was practically raised on this food. How typical. Even in your dining habits, you nobles subsist on unnecessary luxury. <laughs> of course they do. What do you expect? He is noble. Though I can't deny the quality of the food. It wasn't just tasty, but warm too. Warm food? Yeah, it, it is something um, rarely, so it seems, in this um, part of the world. Yes. For a high-class restaurant, the chef seems to have used a lot of very healthy ingredients. Perhaps he's doing his part to ensure Yusis stays in good health. I wouldn't doubt it. I, I wonder what Group B is doing right now. Hmm. I guess they could get it wrong. <laughs> we had this exact same conversation in our group last month, too. I'm sure they're hard at work over in St. Ark. Probably nothing to worry about. It was Keldic for you last month, right? So you were thinking of us on the first night? Yeah. After dinner, we were wondering how Group B was getting on. <laughs> Dare I ask? Uh, well... <laughs> okay, tell us a story. Nowhere near as peacefully as now. <laughs> That's at least... <laughs> this is a big improvement. I... kind of figured that much. We are doing... Much better this time, that much is true. Huh, and I'm sure our reports will reflect that. <laughs> I guess so. You just need Reen, and everything works out perfectly. Gaius was um, replaced with Reen, and everything works out perfectly. I think the other group is still awesome and right. And it is good. an improvement, though I'm not convinced it's good enough. That's always good. There's always room to improve for improvement. That's, that's true. It's not? I'm certain Group B gave their absolute best in all of their tasks today. But can we honestly say the same? That we could have done no better? Mm, probably not. And I'm referring not just to the monster encounter, but to the handling of our other tasks as well. Hmm. I mean, we, I did my best, for sure. We'll just have to try and make up for it in the day we have left. Besides, we had the chance to catch sight of a far bigger problem. Yes, that's true. First we find out taxes are rising throughout the province. Then we find out the military is being expanded on a grand scale. Don't even try to tell me the two aren't related. I have no intention of denying it. But you're only looking at one side of the coin. Exactly how many Oxen tanks do you think the Imperial Army has under their control? W well... A hundred or two, I'd guess. Precisely. The Imperial Army's military capabilities are enormous. Too much. Always too much, I agree. No military should have any tanks or... I mean, no military should exist, of course, but... Yeah, I see the point. This nation has one of the most powerful armed forces on the continent. And roughly 70% of it is under the Chancellor's control. Tell me, how is the Noble Alliance supposed to counter that? So, you're suggesting that's why the Provincial Army needs to bolster its forces? Considering both sides are comprised of Erebonians, it all seems so wasteful. Oh, the travails of youth! How noble and beautiful they are! I know this voice, I don't even need to hear see the name, I know it is uh, Blue Blanc. We, um, I also, um, uh, we also meet him um, in your adventures in Trails in the Sky. It's you. Baron Blue Blanc, I believe. I'm very, 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 very sure he, it is it's the same. I'm very, very sure it is the same person. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just, uh, just sound very similar, but yeah. Also, also, the voice is similar. Anyway, let's just continue. I'm not 100% certain. I see you've completed a hard day's work already. How splendid! Yes, nearly. What about you? Alas, I have yet to be blessed with the fateful encounter I seek. The search for beauty is filled with perils and obstacles, yet that is precisely what makes it all so beautiful. Hmm. 
Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. <laughs> I most certainly will. Though it truly is a pity that the clear air of this verdant city should be tinged, if but faintly, with the scent of steel. <laughs> I'd heard that Duke Alborea was a man of many interests, but I was unaware he counted playing with fire among them. I don't condemn him for it, though, for only by playing with fire can one create fireworks. For sure, for sure. Would you not agree, my friends? I don't like your implications. And I think this whole line of conversation is a little inappropriate. Oh, please do pardon me, young lady. I meant no harm, I assure you. I wish you well on your remaining day here. May you reveal to me the beauty I seek by its end. Be it the lovely luster of success or the sad splendor of failure. <sighs> Who does he think he is? This is why I can't stand nobles. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If it makes you feel better, though, I have my doubts as to whether that man truly is a noble to begin with. What? His behavior seems so exaggerated. Almost as if he's trying to act like the quintessential noble. Like he's fulfilling the stereotype. Yeah, something about him feels off to me, too. But what's even stranger... ...is that he knew we only have one day left here. Y you're right. We told him of our field study, but never once did we divulge how long we intended to remain here. Between him and that silver object? We've been crossing paths with a lot of strange people today. Well, tomorrow's the end of our stint here. We can't let ourselves get distracted. We still have a lot to do. That's right. We have to do our group proud. <laughs> exactly. We should return to the hotel and begin work on our reports then. This sounds like a good idea. Let's do this. Let's report about all the crazy things we today encountered. And you guys can also do something great if you really want to subscribe. Something is about to happen, I am sure. Jesus. <sighs> Can't get to sleep. I could ask you the same. They, uh, they all lay very, um, I mean, no, it, uh, it looks very, I mean, ordinary, um, not ordinary, it's not the right word. Anyway, if maybe I talk stupid stuff. Maybe I don't even know the English word. Let's continue. You aren't going to tell me the bed's too hard for you, are you? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I've never slept in a bed this high class in my life. Not even back at home. And yet you're the son of Baron Schwarzer. You've not lived the life one might expect of a boy from a noble family. Yeah, that's just how my dad is. A lord should live like his people, not above them. That's how he always put it. I see. It sounds as though you have a good family. Yeah, I'm very thankful for my upbringing. Upbringing, okay, yeah, but, um... Aren't you going to ask? I assumed you'd be curious about that brief exchange with my father earlier. I wasn't really sure you'd want me to bring that up. You obviously get along really well with your brother, but I didn't get that same sense with the Duke. Has he always been like that? As far back as I can remember. I suppose he just has little respect for a son born to a commoner. What? My brother and I have different mothers. He was born of my father's legal wife. 
a noble who still lives to this day. My own mother, however, was a commoner, and she passed away eight years ago. In mm. other words, I am his bastard son. You're saying kind of spell with him. Everyone calls the Lord Jesus. I had no idea. So was that chef we met earlier? Uh, I'm not sure what he was his um He's my uncle. On my mother's side. Perhaps that's why he's always been so good to me. Or perhaps he's simply compelled to treat me as I deserve to be treated, being the son of the Duke. No, that can't be. I don't blame you for being a little cynical, but there's no need to be quite so hard on yourself. Maybe there is a reason. I mean, you're better than your brother. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> that's also <not> difficult. <laughs> I mean... Anyway. I suppose you're right. I'm... I'm sure you have your differences. But you do get along with your brother, right? You could say that. He's treated me well ever since I was taken in eight years ago. He was the one who taught me my swordsmanship. And who trained me in the ways of court etiquette. <laughs> I knew it. Arden? There's just something honest, I guess you could say, about the way you fight. It shows that whoever taught you was someone you really trusted. Hmm, okay. Thought, man. So they see something I don't see. When we first met him this afternoon, I had a hunch he might have been the one. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. Hmm. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> I get that a lot. Do you not want to lay yourself back? Is your injury from this afternoon on the mend? It's fine, honestly. Uh. There's no pain, and the wounds closed up like it was never there. I'll have to be sure to thank Emma's grandmother for her help someday. That's good to hear. Still, from where I stand, you are something of a danger to yourself. <laughs> Maybe. I am? On the day of the entrance ceremony, when the trap door opened beneath us, you acted instantly to protect Elisa. It wasn't even a moment's hesitation. Ah. In most cases, one would reflexively act to protect himself. It's part of man's natural survival instinct. Mm. Yet you put another before yourself, not even pausing to question the validity of that decision. Maybe. And you did exactly the same thing with us today. I'm sure most people would see that as an act of selflessness and sing your praises for it. But to me, it comes across as abnormal, perhaps even twisted. Hmm. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I <don't laughs> to respond to that. The blanket was funny. The blanket was um, instantly came back. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to see through me quite so clearly. Well. I owed you as much for having seen through me first. Still, the point stands. You need to be more cognizant of the effects your actions have on those around you. If not for your health, then for your... reputation. That selflessness of yours can just as easily be perceived as arrogance, after all. I know it can. And you're not the first person to tell me that. What's the point in saving others if you can't spare even a moment to save yourself? That's what my old master always used to say to me. Was it now? Intense for talking. <laughs> I like this. I like um, uh, Jesus also, yeah. I suppose we both have some things we need to work through. Yeah. But for now, we need to get a good night's sleep. If we stay up too late tonight, we're going to be dead to the world tomorrow. And that wouldn't be fair to the others. <laughs> I agree. It wouldn't be fair. To the girls, at least. I'd hate to be so tired as to limit my potential. Here, here. <laughs> to the that girls at least. Pleasant dreams. Uh, that's it. <laughs> okay. Sleep well, all of you. Marcus as well, of course. Ah, he was listening, of course. 
<lacht> das ist alles fein. Das ist interesting. <lacht> I like this very much. Very much indeed. Mm, you're moving up in the world. <lacht> I've got a little reward here for you. Ah, oh, accept him. Accept him, you bumblewein. Keep up the good work. Feels that the day too. And of course, something terribly will happen today. Something awful and very work heavy, I imagine. But I have a long night, so if, um, come with me on this journey. Here is the envelope Lord Rufus entrusted to me. Please take it and study its contents well. Alright, let's see what my brother uh, given for us today. Okay, it's kind of an uh, Let's take a look. Just North Crescent Hyrule Monster and the bit of nostalgia. I would like to request someone's help in gathering a number of ingredients I need to make a particularly um, nostalgic dish. For more details, come find me at uh, the restaurant in the Central Plaza Hamont, okay? And the North Crescent Harry. Um, I will go there, of course. But yeah, the monster comes last, of course. That's a well balanced um, assortment. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Rufus had uh, predict predicted what happened yesterday from the very start. You are saying he intended to give us a first hand look at the problems between the nobles and the commoners? Hmm. If that's true, I'm impressed his reputation is well earned. Um, I'm also, I'm, I'm very impressed by Rufus, but I'm not, I'm not always like him. Mostly not, but uh, sometimes he's good. Sure does seem that way. Mm, I believe that enough talk about my brother. We have only one day that's, um, left before we must um, depart on return voyage to Tresta. We should set out as... Eustace Alberea. Jesus Alvarea. Jesus, uh, okay. What is it, Machias Regnitz? I will accept no more failures. As, as, uh, woo? Why, why are you doing such a thing? You get a long kite of, don't destroy it or uh, damage it. Today, we will form a combat link. Okay. Yeah, uh, try it. What? As much as I may dislike you, I'm ashamed that we were unable to do what every other member of our class has accomplished. Today's monster extermination request seems as good a chance as any to make up for yesterday's failure. What did you say? You really are simple-minded, aren't you? <laughs> you, you, you can't uh, avoid it. I suppose you overheard our conversation last night and feel some kind of affinity toward me now? Uh. Nonsense! I did no such thing! <laughs> okay, I didn't use it. Um, he uh, suspected this. Oh, so, um. Uh, may yeah! I, I can see it. I was fast asleep while you yammered on about your family and Reen and. Uh. <laughs> you just admitted it. When you just said, I, I don't know what you're talking about. But he can't act, uh, uh, he's honest. He can't uh, um, act as something which, you know, he, he's honest. And this is also a good um, characteristic. Uh. <laughs> <Machias>. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty conclusive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Very well. I accept. I'll be happy to show you what a proper combat link looks like. <laughs> we'll see about that. Fortunately, I have more than enough generosity of spirit to endure being paired with an arrogant noble like you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe today's field study will go more smoothly than yesterday's after all. Let's see. <laughs> Lord Eusus. Who is it? I'm not sure. Arno? What brings you here? I would have expected you to be at my father's side. I'm terribly sorry I could not greet you upon your arrival yesterday. 
However, I have come today in the capacity of an escort. An escort? To where? I'm sure you must be aware that I returned to Berehard purely as part of a field study for my academy work. But of course, however, his grace has directly requested that I escort you to the mansion. So I would be most appreciative if you'd accompany me without delay. Father? He showed no signs of desiring my company when we spoke yesterday. I am in no position to question or oppose his orders, merely to obey them. I'm sure you understand. Though while I hesitate to speculate, I do wonder if His Grace may feel some regret regarding his demeanor yesterday. <laughs> Maybe. I... Uh, but... Go with him. We can attempt to form a combat link another time. We'll be able to handle the morning's tasks just fine on our own. Don't worry about us. Ha! Huh. You've come all the way back to your hometown. It would be a shame not to visit with your family, right? Uh, yes, I, th I guess so. Agreed. Uh, are you certain? Very well. I'll return this afternoon. And though I will worry as to how you'll fare without me, I know you'll at least give it your best, for what that's worth. <laughs> of course we will. All right. Let's meet back in the hotel lobby around noon. If something comes up, just leave a message at the front desk. Understood. Lead the way, Arno. Gladly, sir. Please excuse us. I would have expected Jesus to um, also. Uh, um. Well, let's get started. We wouldn't want to give Jesus any further reason to worry, now would we? Huh? Certainly not. Okay, let's get to it. Doing. Still. Let's take it to swing. Come on. Don't just try this thing. What is it? Come on. If you have something to say, just say it. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. She's probably thinking, the worst is over, and it's all thanks to your eavesdropping. Good boy. <sighs> don't do this! You just risk to destroy everything again. No, don't do this! S stop that! Yeah, stop it! S stop looking at me like I'm some hapless babe! Rain, you do know I still haven't completely forgiven you for lying, don't you? Are you still hung up on that? And Emma, I hope you're ready to score second in our midterms because I'm not about to lose to you again. Don't be so... They don't stare at him. Just do your work. You have work to do. But don't even think about giving those exams any less than your very best. I intend to best you when you're in top form. <laughs> you will? And as for you, Fee, I've been wanting to say this for a long time now. Sleeping in class is an affront to our education. Uh, no, he has to deal out. You need to start treating classes more seriously. Listen, take proper notes. Raise your hand now and then. <laughs> and stop covering your ears when I'm talking. I can't hear you. <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to do, so yeah, how about we get to it? Good idea. <laughs> right. Very good idea. Let's do this. Let's not... Yeah, okay, that's, that's all right. We can do this. Um, I put fee here and those two. Okay, tactics. Um, Let's go to the restaurant and talk to this um, Arnold or... Okay, well, um, in the next episode, one, two, three.